currently I'm stood uh, overlooking the city of Langer in the Loire Valley. Now last night when I looked at the weather it looked as if it was going to be um, a pretty nice morning, not the best morning but it still looked as if there might be a little bit of sunshine in between the cloud. Now yesterday there was quite a lot of rainstorms going on and I was filming a, a segment using ND Grad so that's coming up very soon so um, you should see that maybe in the next few days or in the next week or so. Um, I just need one more sequence to, to fit that out and then that'll be finished and be released on YouTube. Now I've come out and um, after last night, after them saying there was going to be some sunshine, it's actually nothing at all and it's clouded over, which is very frustrating. But um, I am getting a little bit of a moody shot overlooking um, the city itself with the chateau behind me and the, the church by. Now what I am going to do is, um, when I finish here, I'm going to have a wander down to the church, see if there's anybody in there and ask them if I can get up in that bell tower or who it is that I need to ask to get permission to get up in that bell tower. Um, I think there could be quite a nice shot over the chateau from that bell tower. So um, that's one of the, the perks of being a professional, being able to get into uh, places that most other people will never be able to get the access to um, without uh, very special permission. So. What I'm going to do is just uh, explain what it is I'm doing at the moment and um, go from there. So I'm sorry if it's not the best weather, but um, just give you a little flavour, a little bit more of a flavour of the local area that I live in, in the Loire Valley. And just to say that next week um, I'm actually in the United Kingdom, so I'm not sure what I'll be doing, but certainly I'll be out and about in the UK doing things. So, um, you know, that'll be coming up soon. This is how I've set up the shot overlooking the city of Langeais. Now, the th thing that jumps out at me right away um, that I really don't like, and there's not much I can do about it, is the dominant church spire there. Now, I haven't yet tried uh, putting on my 70 to 200 millimeter lens and zooming right in on the chateau to see if that might actually make a more interesting and pleasing composition. So that's something I might try in a minute if it doesn't rain too much. Um, outside of that, being very picky, some of the things that I really don't like is uh, about this particular view and there's not much that I can do about it is in the background um, there's obviously lots of cars going past so if you've got this place if you're up at this place at night then you're going to get lots of light trails um, and then also in the background there's the main railway line that goes between Tours and Saumur um, and onto Angers and Nantes um, so that can be quite frustrating. Outside of that is basically just a case of trying to frame up your image uh, or the image that I've got here and just trying to remove uh, buildings that might be distraction might be a distraction within the image there so um, I've managed to do that pretty well um, but of course the light is not really there so what can you do not a lot um, so I'm probably just going to have to pack up and maybe even just uh, abandon the shoot for today as if the rain comes in especially as it did like yesterday and I haven't got a chance in hell of uh, of getting anything at all. It would be fair to say that this week's vlog is short and sweet. Now there's nothing much that I can do about it. The inclement weather that we've been having all week over here in France, especially in the Loire Valley, has been pretty bad. It's been wind, rain, and just anything else uh, in between times. It's actually been very frustrating, uh, just sort of looking out the window and you just see this windswept landscape in front of you. What can you do? Not a lot. Um, what did I do? Anything else? Well, I have actually been working on uh, a tutorial video showing how to correctly use neutral density graduate filters. It's something that I feel was never really explained very well at all, so I thought I would explain it uh, about three different ways on how to choose an ND grad. So that's hopefully coming up in the next couple of days. There are two parts uh, out of three that have already been filmed. I'm just waiting for the weather to break again to be able to, feel, to, be able to film the last and final part of that, so that will be coming up. Um, so hopefully people will enjoy that and learn something too. Um, right, what else can I do? Well, last week I did say that I would run a little competition and that would be to win, let's pick it up, 
So I did this print of uh, one of the places I was in a couple of weeks ago and I asked people to guess from three clues where it was. So it's in uh, the department of Mayenne. It uh, is a village that begins with uh, an S and the next word is an S and uh, it's also Beau Village de France. Pretty much everybody came along and correctly says that it's called Saint Suzanne. So if I pick up my son's cap here, in there I've got the names. So if I'm just going to reach in and pick out a name at random, no idea who it is. So um, Ken Bound, I know you emailed me uh, with your answer. So hopefully you're listening and you're watching this. You're going to need to email me again. You need to email me your address. I'll get that print in the post to you. Or if you're living in the UK and I'm passing, I'll hand deliver it through your letterbox as well. So uh, if you let me know where that is, uh, where you live, Ken, then I'll get that off to you again. Now, what I am going to say again is thank you again to everybody that, is, that has subscribed this week. It is incredibly appreciated, the people that are coming along and subscribing to my channel. Everybody else that's commenting and what commenting as well. That is very appreciated. Please keep it up. Please ask any questions that you have and I might be able to answer them. As I said, um, or I may have said, I can't remember now, I will be in the United Kingdom over the next couple of weeks. I will be filming over there. I am, I'm up in the Peak District very soon, so there's something coming up. Hopefully, if the weather is good, um, I should be doing something with a few people up around the Peak District um, and showing you how I actually teach as well. So that's something that's coming up. Um, in the next couple of weeks or so. There's quite a few things coming up. So I'm also going to be looking at working with another uh, photographer or two on doing some workshops around Europe. So that's something else to, to, look, to actually look out for. And um, what else can I say? Thank you again. And I will see you next week. Thank you and goodbye.